What's up guys, here Dr. Technician helping you go further faster in technical field. In this video, I'll be showing you different ways to fix Wi-Fi connection related problems in Windows 10. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And also hit bell icon for notification. Let's get into the video. Coming up, now there are different possible reasons why you may be having this issue. It could be due to problems with service provider or your Wi-Fi router. And it could also be due to problems with the network configurations on your device. Some minor, and some major. There are some indicators to notify this problems. Sometimes the Wi-Fi icon will be disappear. Then there we see only globe icon or Ethernet icon. Some cases despite there is Wi-Fi icon, but it shows there are no connected networks. So in this video, I'll be discussing the possible causes of this problem, and the potential solutions to solve it. So here I will try to cover each of these possibilities. And hopefully we'll have your Wi-Fi working properly again. Without any further ado, let's get to the process. So first to avoid causing any further complications to this problem. I will advise, that you follow the suggestions in this video in the order which they are being present. And if for some reasons, you don't find the options I'm using for a particular fix, just skip it and move to the next one. So, like I mentioned earlier, it could be a minor problem, but it could also be a major problem. So I will start with minor fixes. First of all before changing any settings on your device, is advisable to first check, and see the Wi-Fi network is enabled or disabled by the physical key which is available with some kind of laptop, if it disabled, just press and enable it. Then the next thing, check this problem is coming from your internet service provider, or from Wi-Fi router equipment. You can do it a quick check, that you could try to connect directly to your laptop, using Ethernet cable instead of passing through the router. And the next thing, with checking with connect another wireless device like another computer or a smartphone to your Wi-Fi router, and see this devices are able to connect. If able, there is chance that, this problem is coming from your laptop, in which case, you should apply one or more of the following fixes, to try to resolve this problem. Let's start with the first fix would be to check, that your Wi-Fi adapter has not been disabled in Windows settings, especially if you are running Windows 10. Usually, the Wi-Fi network driver is automatically installed with Windows 10. Especially if you're upgrading from Windows 7 or 8.1. So if you are having this problem in Windows 10, then you need to check your Wi-Fi adapter settings. To check that, click on the start menu, and then click on the gear icon to open your Windows settings. Then click on network and internet. Under change your network settings, click on change adapter options. Then you would see a list of all the network adapters currently on your laptop. There, you should find your Wi-Fi adapter as well. If you do not find your Wi-Fi adapter on this window, then you can skip this fix and continue with other suggestions. If you find your Wi-Fi adapter on this page, in grey color, then it implies that your adapter has been disabled. Either by a user, or by some applications. Then you would need to simply right-click and select enable to turn it on again. If for some reason this doesn't work for you, then proceed to the next suggestion. The next fix, it would be to run Windows Network Troubleshooting Tools. There are two possible ways to do this. The first is to simply click on the Wi-Fi icon from the taskbar, and select Network and Internet Settings, then this page pops up, from here select Troubleshoot button, and then wait for the troubleshooting to complete. Afterwards, you should get a feedback from the troubleshooting, on what problems were detected this, really resolves such problems automatically. Often, it will give some suggestions on. And the another way to troubleshoot this problem, is to go through Windows settings, by clicking on this gear icon, and then on this page select update and security. Next you want to click on troubleshoot, and then on this page, click on internet connections from recommended troubleshooting and then run the troubleshooter as well. If you are still unable to access your internet connection, then you may want to check, that the power management settings, 
and look your wireless card is not set to turn off automatically, in order to save power. To check that, right click on the network icon from the taskbar, and select open network and internet settings. On this window this box pops up, click on change adapter options. Here right click on the Wi-Fi network, and select properties, then click on configure. Now, select the power management hub. And then check that, the option that says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Is not ticked, if it is, then done tick it and click OK. After that, restart your computer and check again and see if your internet connection works properly. Another way to do this, would be to update your network adapter drivers, using internet connection. It will be connecting your PC to the internet, using an ethernet cable. If you do not have an ethernet cable, then you can also use a USB Wi-Fi module, like this one. Here, you need to connect to the internet in order to check that your network drive is up to date. This is mostly applicable to situations, where this problem started after running some major updates. Then you may want to reinstall one of the default drivers, recommended by Microsoft for your hardware. To do that, just Windows key and letter R on keyboard. This box pops up, then type, D-E-V-M-G-M-T, dot, M-S-C, and hit OK. Then the device manager box pops up. Another way to do that, open your search and type device manager. Click on device manager from the search results. Here go down to network adapters. Click on the drop down, to reveal your network adapters and from there you will find your Wi-Fi adapter. If you don't see your Wi-Fi adapter here, then you should proceed to the other suggestions in the rest of the video. Now if you see your Wi-Fi adapter here, right click and select update driver. On this window, click on search automatically for updated driver software, and wait for the process to complete. If there is the later version than what you have already, it will automatically download it and replace the outdated one. In my case, it says here that the best driver is already installed. It doesn't fix the problem, then you might have to manually download and install the Wi-Fi adapter driver. This you can do on another computer, and then copy the file to your laptop, and run. Here, to ensure you download the right driver, you will need a full model number of your laptop, and the operating system you are running. In my case, I'm running Windows 10, and the platform which is it a 32-bit or 64-bit, then visit your manufacturer page, and download the corresponding driver, that matches your system specifications. Or you can simply search with your full PC model on Google, then click on the link from your manufacturer support page, and select your system configurations, then locate the Wi-Fi driver. If the Windows 10 driver doesn't work, you could also try the Windows 7 driver. To install, simply double click the downloaded file, and follow the prompts to complete the installation process, if not then, the next fix would be to try reinstalling your network adapter drivers. One way to do this would be to uninstall them, and then restart your laptop, for the drivers to install automatically upon restart. To do that open your search and type device manager, and again go down to where it says network adapters. Click on the drop down, to reveal your network adapters. From there, you will find your Wi-Fi adapter here, right click and select uninstall device. Then, a window like this should pops up here, do not select delete a driver software of the device. Because that would boot uninstall, and completely delete the network adapter drivers. And since you have no internet connection, then you won't be able to download this drivers again. So here, just click on uninstall and wait for the process to complete. Afterwards you should restart your laptop, and then your network driver should install back automatically. However, if that doesn't work for you, then the next suggestion would be to reset your network adapter. Sometimes, certain applications of malware could alter the configurations of your network adapter or drivers and prevent them from accessing the internet. In such situations, resetting your network adapters could be a possible solution to this problem. 
To do that go to your Windows settings by clicking on the gear icon. On this Windows settings page, click on Network and Internet. Here follows go down to where it says Network Reset, and click on it, then on the next page, it tells you that this process will remove and reinstall all your network adapters, and then reset all network components back to the original settings. It also informs you here that, your PC will restart. So before clicking on this reset button, ensure you save all your works and close all applications. Then click reset. Now here hit yes and then click close and wait for your laptop to reboot. Upon restarting you should try to connect back to your wireless network and see if the internet connection now works properly. Another way to reset, go to control panel, here just click on internet options. Then this box pops up. Under the advanced tab, click on restore advanced settings. Then it will reset the network settings to default, if there are some misconfiguration, it will resolve. The next fix would also require an internet connection, so you have to connect Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi module to access internet. Here you have to run a full Windows update. Usually if you start experiencing this problem just after upgrading to Windows 10, then chances are that a full update of Windows might fix the problem. To run update, simply type Windows Update in the Start Search, and click Check for updates from the search results, then wait for your updates to download and install. During this process, your Wi-Fi driver will equally update with the system update. After this, your Wi-Fi network will be worked properly. Again if not, then the next solution would be to reset your Windows Socket API. This is the API, that determines, how the network software access network services, so if somehow this API gets compromised by malware or some other malfunction, then it could also lead to this connection problem. And resetting it back to defaults, can be the solution. To do that, go to your Windows search and type CMD. Then right-click on the command prompt from the search results, and select Run as Administrator, hit Yes. Then you should have this command prompt window, here type in the commands. Net sh space. Winsock space, reset as shown on the screen, and hit Enter. Then type the command, net sh space, int space, ip space, reset and hit Enter. Next type in, ip config space, forward slash, release, and hit enter. Then type IP config space, forward slash, renew, and hit enter. Finally type in, IP config space, forward slash, flush DNS and hit enter. And I should complete the reset process. Afterwards you should then restart your laptop. Now check your connection again and see if it now works properly. If none of the solution so far has worked for you, then the next fix will go a bit on the hardware side. So you need to open up your laptop, and locate the Wi-Fi card. Now just remove that and wipe carefully, to check that it may be cause of dust. So, just remove and put it back. After that restart computer. In my case, this solution worked, after that in my laptop network works properly. In your case, if it doesn't fix just go to last one. Now if all these suggestions are failed to fix the problem, then there's a high probability that you might have a failing Wi-Fi card. In which case, you will need to replace the Wi-Fi card module. In that case you should check the manufacturer and the model number. After that just removing Wi-Fi card and replace another card with same specification. And check, it will work precisely. Perfectly hope one of these suggestions would work for you. Please share with us in the comment section which of them did. And if you discover some other fixes, that wasn't covered in this video, please share with us also in the comment section. And I will join the discussion. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Once again, here Dr. Technician is helping you go further faster in technical field. Until next time keep crushing on it, we will talk soon.